Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another Blu-ray collection update and unboxing. If y'all don't know me, my name is David, and I review movies over at CinemaDeviant.com. I started doing this as a way to give people a heads up as to what's coming out now and in the upcoming weeks as far as Blu-rays and DVDs go. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, uh, but I figure we get back into the, the swing of things. I've just been so busy, you know, to do a long-form video like this, but I've been wanting to. Um, and I'm, I'm going to try to, like I said, see if I can get back into the swing of it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with Wrinkles the Clown on DVD. Now, um, this is an interesting one. This is, uh, it, it's actually really, really good and really, really fascinating to me. Um, it, it's basically a documentary about a viral video on YouTube about a clown that hunts down children or like, well, you know, sneak into children's rooms under their bed, things like that. Like the boogeyman, you know? Uh, but this guy has basically, basically capitalized on the, the viral aspect of that of those videos that he made and created a uh, I guess you could say a business around it and he has a hotline where if you know parents if parents see that their kids are acting up they'll call the hotline and tell hire this clown to come in and uh terrorize the kids um I mean it, it's 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 twisted man it's it's kind of messed up because you'll hear like they, they have like recorded voicemails of the parents are like, I'm going to call him, I'm going to call him. And the kids are screaming to high heaven. Uh, but it, it is a really good and interesting watch. So I highly recommend checking this one out if you guys have not seen it. Uh, it's a, it is a creepy, <laughs> creepy ass clown. I, I will say that. And then here goes the back here. I mean, literally, it's so weird. Like, if you look at the back, it looks like an indie movie. Like, it just looks like an indie horror movie. Um, but, uh, and I, that, that's kind of, I thought it was going to be like a mockumentary kind of thing. Uh, but like I said, it turned out to be really, really interesting. Really, really good. Um, it goes the inside here, the disc art. There's no interior artwork as to be expected for a DVD. All right. And then here goes the front back and spine for wrinkles, the clown. And this one is out now from Magnolia home entertainment. I mean, if you're like, you know, if you're into clowns and things like that, you'll definitely dig that one. It's a, it's a pretty interesting watch. Um, next up, we have The Shed. Now, this one sounded interesting right from the get-go. Uh, and I was stoked to, to check this one out. Um, essentially, it's, uh, it's like a vampire story. It's like a twist on a, on a vampire story. And I don't want to give too much away, but th there is um, a guy that gets bit. And kind of, you know, he's starting to feel like he's changing. So he holds him, himself up in a shed. And the shed is in the backyard of um, th this, this teenager's house. Um, and things ensue. <laughs> I'll just say that. Because it actually is really good. And uh, it, it's it's an interesting, it's a low budget, you know, kind of indie horror flick. But it's really, really well done. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's really, really fun. Um, here goes the back here. That'll tell you more about it if uh, if you're interested. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I thought the acting was pretty pretty good as well. Um, that, that's kind of surprising, you know. Usually with indie movies, it's people starting out and things like that, and it's not the best acting, not the best story. Um, I thought acting was 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 pretty darn good, and the story was actually pretty excellent. So I enjoyed it quite a bit. And then here goes the disc here. The Blu-ray disc right here, which is the same artwork as the cover. But this one does have reversible artwork, which is pretty neat. So I like that. I like it when, when, uh, when releases have reversible artwork because it gives you a choice. You know, sometimes uh, the, the, the standard artwork is, is really, really good. But then also you have the option to uh, switch it out to maybe like a poster art or like a, a newly commissioned art, things like that. And this one is out. Uh, here goes the front, back, and spine. I'm sorry. For the shed, and this one is out now from RLJ Entertainment. Like I said, yeah, this one, this one was kind of surprising to me. the The premise sounded really interesting, so I wanted to watch it. wasn't expecting much. was uh, ple pleasantly surprised. Uh, next up, we have, who, <laughs> we have Color Out of Space on 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray. So you can see there does star Nicolas Cage, and that's the only reason I went, whoo, <laughs> because as we all know. Nicholas Cage is Nicholas Cage, and in this movie, he is very Nicholas Cage. <laughs> but that's not a bad thing, though. I enjoyed it quite a bit. 
Um, this is a, a story based on, you know, from H.P. Lovecraft. Um, and uh, if you know H.P. Lovecraft's, you know, body of work, um, you know, the stuff can get kind of weird, you know? And, and weird is kind of my wheelhouse at times. So I, I can appreciate a good weird horror movie. Um, and this one was that. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. Everything was just kind of like really out there. Um, it, it's about a family that's basically at a, at a, in a farmhouse when a meteor hits. And the meteor, uh, it's almost like the way, uh, it sets up almost like the way uh, there's a, that one story in Creepshow. With uh, the Stephen King, the farmer. And the meteor hits and things happen around you know the farmhouse. It's essentially, it sets up that way. Very, very different though. Um, I will, I'm not going to get, again, I don't want to get into details because this is one to watch. I will, I will say that. Um, if you're into movies like The Thing, um, and like From Beyond, things like that, uh, like very body horror kind of movies, you're going to want to watch this one. Um, it's very left field. It's very like, whoa, what, wait, what just happened? (laughs) And again, Nicolas Cage gets very, very Nicolas Cage. In this movie. And I love it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, and it was just... It, it ends on a note where you're like... Wow, okay. Now, I honestly wanted to see what happened next. Like, I don't I don't think that they would make a sequel. But I was interested to see what's going to happen next. What's after this? Um, but... I don't know. I mean, you might get a little bit more from the synopsis in the back. But um, I do love the, the, the slip cover here, though. It has that nice, like prism uh effect to it. It's really, really nice. And then here goes the back here. Alright, there goes the synopsis and special features as well. And then, of course, it does have Tommy Chong in it. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's just one of those movies that it didn't expect it. Didn't expect what I was about to watch. And I was, again, pleasantly surprised. Alright, uh, does come with like a I guess if if anybody wants to redeem this, it's a 30 day free trial for uh, Shutter, which Shutter is amazing. I love it. And then here we have the uh, the Blu-ray on this side, which is the same as the, the the cover art here. And then the 4K on this side. And mind you, um, it looks great in 4K. Like this movie is very colorful at times, especially towards the the third act very very colorful everything is so vibrant and it pops really nice um the the clarity is, is fantastic as well i have i've ha- i had no qualms with uh any any 4k disc that that rlj i'm sorry uh yeah rlj has as a uh, release so again definitely one to watch and here you have the front back and spine for color out of space on 4k ultra hd and this one is out now from rlj entertainment it like said great movie um, really threw me off guard for, <laughs> for what was, what was going on in there, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, next up we have playing with fire starring John Cena. You see this? Um, my, uh, my wife actually took my son to go see this movie, uh, when it first came out and he came back saying, man, it was, it was really good. John Cena was great. And da-da-da-da. he's a big wrestling fan also. Um, <laughs> but he said, it was really, really funny. So I'm like, oh, okay, so maybe, you know, I- I'll watch it when it, uh, I'll watch it one day, you know, when it comes out on, on Blu-ray, things like that. Finally got a chance to watch it, and um, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I watched it with him, obviously. So when he, when, again, I always liken, like, family movies. Uh, this is a good family comedy. And uh, I always liken family movies to where if you're watching it with your kids, your family, um, and your family, and you are laughing at the movie and having a good time, the movie did its job. And th- this movie totally did its job. Uh, John Cena is not the best actor in the world. <laughs> but you can totally see that he's trying. And that that's something that I do appreciate. I love John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo is amazing. And Keenan Michael Key is <laughs> phenomenal all the time. I think he's one of the funniest guys. Uh, I think he had a, a, a couple of moments in this movie that were very laugh out loud for me. Uh, so I, I, li- I really like this movie quite a bit. And then here goes the back here. If you guys don't know what it's about. And then the special features are there as well. Alright. Let's go ahead and pop this open. It does come with digital copy. 
And here we have the uh, was it the DVD on this side and the Blu-ray on this side. No disc art or anything like that. I really wish uh, you know we would get a little bit more disc art on these discs. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean it, it's fine. I guess it's very very standard uh, for uh, for Paramount and I think Lionsgate does does something like this as well at times. And then here goes the front back and spine for playing with fire. And this one is out now from Paramount. All right. Again, really fun movie. Uh, I, I always, again, I, ha I have a family, uh, you know, uh, kids and, and a wife and things like that. And I do look for, for movies that we can always watch together because we do have Friday family movie nights. All right. Next up, we have Dark Waters. All right, starring Mark Ruffalo, Anne Hathaway, Tim Robbins, and Bill Pullman. Now, this is a good thriller. I uh, I don't get a chance to see these very often. Um, and this one fell into my lap, and I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. My wife loves thrillers. So the moment that I got this, she was like, we got to watch it. We got to watch it. So <laughs> we did, and it was really, really well done. And I feel like this is kind of like in... Mark Ruffalo's wheelhouse. Um, he he kind of he's a an advocate for like a you know the the I guess the environment and things like that. And uh, this is definitely like almost like a, I guess a message from him, you know, and things like that. And this is a, a true story at that. Um, and I knew nothing about it to be perfectly honest. And this movie had me on the edge of my seat the whole time. I was talking to the TV. So again, when 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 movies can in el elicit a response from you, I feel like they've done their job amazingly. And uh I don't do that very often. So when this movie made me do that, I was like, "Ah, oh, man, okay. This it has me." Um and I, I I really dug it quite a bit. Performances were amazing. I loved them. Uh Anne Hathaway's always great in everything that she does. But here you go. Here goes the front here. Some Nice embossing right there on the logo. And then here goes the back here. If you guys don't know what it's about, this is a great one. If you have not seen it and you you're, you love thrillers, definitely one to watch. Let's go ahead and pop this open. It does come with digital copy. All right. And we have the uh, DVD on this side and the Blu-ray on this side. You have like a reflective uh disc art or reflective disc over here a semi-reflective disc on this side uh from universal that's kind of like the standard that universal does and then here goes the front back and spine for dark waters and this one does come out this one is out now i'm sorry from universal studios home entertainment all right next up we have one that um I enjoyed quite a bit. Um, and this is one that I didn't want to end. And this is Titans, the complete second season. Um, and I love the first season of Titans. But the one thing that I will only complain about, I guess, slightly, is um, the first season of Titans was a big setup to everyone. As a... And, and it's a... See, it's kind of like almost like a, a comic book nerd's uh, complaint because I know their origin or I know the setup from uh, of them already. I wanted to get into like the juicy storylines already. Um, but I will say that, that um, I kind of took some of those words back because the first season of Titans was amazing. It was so, so good. Um, and so the, so the second season of Titans takes what, exactly what I wanted from the very very beginning. Like, let's just get into some stories. Let's get into some storylines. And uh, they did that right here in this season uh, and also included and, and uh, included new characters and built up on that as well and built their team bigger and bigger. And I loved it. I loved it from start to finish. It is very much like a grittier, more mature version of a CW show. Um, so if you're a fan of CW shows... Um, maybe some of you maybe aren't, but, uh, if you're a fan of, the, of those shows, you're definitely going to love it because it's a little bit more serious, a lot more bloody. Um, there's a lot more language, 
and and certain situations in there that you could never possibly show on a, C, a CW show. Um, so I dug that quite a bit, and there's some characters in here that I would have never expected to see. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I, I again, I loved it from start to finish. And when it when it was done, I was like, oh come on, I want I want more. So that's really good. Uh, you know, that's a good sign right there. Fantastic artwork here in the front. And then here goes the back here. You guys don't know what it's about. You pause that there. So look at the team. The team grew quite a bit, as you can see there. But I, yeah, I enjoyed it quite a bit, man. It was really, really cool. All right, and here goes the um, digital coat. Let's come with digital copy. And I love these episode guides. Every TV show should have an episode guide in their release because I, I feel like it helps, especially like if you want to rewatch something. Um, it, it'll help you go straight to that episode without like skipping around and, and things like that. So yeah. Anyway, oops. I keep forgetting. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Here goes the front, back, and spine. Four Titans, the complete second season, and this one is out now from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. All right. Yeah, and then Deathstroke's in here, and, and uh, he, he he was really really good. I and. I um, I was very surprised at the story that they the storyline the story arc that they gave Deathstroke throughout the whole season it was really really intriguing to me. Uh, next up we have Jojo Rabbit on 4K does that 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital copy you can see here. Now this one I had heard so much about I had never gotten a chance to watch it. Um, I'm a big fan of, of Taika Waititi and um, I just when you look at it on the surface like for one. I was like, I asked my wife, do you want to watch Jojo Rabbit? And she's like, no, that's the one about Nazis, right? <laughs> I go, yeah, but that's not what it's about. I mean, yes, it is, but it's not. <laughs> so I had to kind of like, I was trying to sell the movie to her. <laughs> she still didn't buy it. But um, I watched it. And that's, again, it's on the surface that people are going to look at it that way. It's not technically that. It's more of the the overall story and emotions and situations that happen um and it's quite funny you know it's really really funny but then also has so much heart in it as well and it's, it can be very sad at the same time it was it was like this roller coaster of emotions uh throughout the film but i enjoyed it quite a bit and the kid here completely killed it he was amazing uh but yeah really really good movie really fun movie as well Fantastic, and then here goes the, the the front artwork here, and then the back. In case you guys don't know what's about, I'm just laughing at Taika right there, <laughs> jumping in the air. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. All right, it does come with digital copy, and then here we have the Blu-ray on this side and 4K disc on this side. Really, really nice. I love the discard on this. This is really cool. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Jojo Rabbit on 4K Ultra HD. And this one is out now from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. Or do, do we say 20th Century Studios? I'm not sure yet. Anyway, yeah. And it looks great on 4K. Uh, it's, there's a lot of like outside shots and things like that. So there's a, uh, there's a good amount of color uh, at times. And uh, I think it did a great job. The 4K, the 4K transfer looks really, really good. All right. Next up, we have Doctor Sleep, right here. Stephen King's Doctor Sleep on 4K Ultra HD. Does that 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital copy? And includes a director's cut on a Blu-ray, on Blu-ray there. Fantastic. And then here goes the back here, in case you want to see what it's about, and the special features as well. All right, so this movie, um, I, I didn't get a chance to see this in, in the theaters, unfortunately, um, and I'd been waiting for this movie. I remember when, when the book was announced, I was like, well, how are they going to do a sequel? That's weird. Um, and then I, I heard something about like energy vampires and stuff like that, and I'm like, well, okay, wait, this is like, they're going into weird territory here, and I kind of just left it at that. The movie came out, the movie... Uh, and I, I finally got a chance to watch it. And I really enjoyed it quite a bit. Like, this was a cool, not 
direct sequel. I mean, obviously, it's a sequel to The Shining. Um, and there are moments in there that they do refer to The Shining. But it wasn't exactly like the same kind of feel to it. There's moments where there where it is, but it, it had a very different feel to 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 the movie, um, and I could actually appreciate that quite a bit. Um, Hugh and McGregor did fantastic, um, and um, and I thought the the whole again I the whole energy vampire thing. Um, I see that there's a purpose to that in this movie. And there's a reasoning for it and things like that. And uh, there even is a small... Well, I don't say small. Okay, I'm not going to say nothing. Because <laughs> it'll give away like the whole third act. And uh, I don't want to say anything. But it was really, really good. You'll see some familiar familiar uh, things in this movie. I'll say that. Uh, but fantastic. I love the, 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 the artwork here. It's really, really good. And then the back. Oh, I already showed the back. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop this open. <laughs> All right, it does come with digital copy. And here we have the Blu-ray on this side and 4K on this side. No no discard at all or anything like that. But uh, that's okay. Again, because th th in this case, it doesn't bother me. The movie was amazing. <laughs> all right, and here you have the front, back, and spine for Dr. Sleep on 4K Ultra HD. And this one is out now from Warner Brothers Studios Home Entertainment. All right. Really good movie. Um, this this I haven't had a chance to to watch the, uh, the Shining and Doctor Sleep back to back, but from what I can tell, from what I from the way this movie started, it would be kind of neat to to like just go like have like a small little movie marathon double feature, and just watch them, you know, back to back and and see the the, the similarities, the differences. Oh, the one thing that they did recast some of the they do show some flashbacks. And they did recast, for obvious reasons, um, some of the characters. Uh, and that's about as far as I'll go. <laughs> All right, next up, we have Parasite on Blu-ray. Now, Parasite, this one was a surprise for me. Um, I had been hear, hearing rumblings, you know, that, oh, the movie's, uh, the movie's pretty good, but you won't see what's coming. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, you've got to watch it. Like literally, that that was all that was given to me about it. You you have to watch it. Just watch it. It's good. You know. I was like, okay, fine. So watched it, and uh, the first part of it started in one way, and I'm trying to be as vague as possible. <laughs> um, the the first part started one way, and I was like, okay, all right, all right, I I see it. I see what's happening. Fine. And then it just flipped itself on its head. And I was like, whoa, hold up. What is happening right now? Wait, what? It, it totally was one of those movies. I saw it three times with, uh, well, once myself by myself. And then two with two different people that had not seen it before. Because I wanted to see their reactions. I love seeing like first time reactions to movies that are very like off the wall. Um... And it was just, it was fun for me just watching those people experience it for the first time like I did. <laughs> but yeah, highly recommend checking this movie out um, if you have not seen it already, which most of you probably have because it did win an Academy Award. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, or Academy Awards, I should say. But fantastic movie altogether. Very, very surprising. And then here goes uh, the back here in case you guys want to see what it's about. A nerve-wracking master. That 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 sums it up right there. That's all I should have just said. A nerve-wracking masterpiece. <laughs> the bonus feature, as well. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. Right, it does have digital copy. And this is just a basic release, uh, so nothing too crazy. No interior artwork. No nothing like that. You just have the the basic like semi-reflective uh, uh, disc uh, disc art here. And then the front, back, and spine for Parasite. And this one is out now from Universal. All right. Let's see here. Next up, we have The Twilight Zone, Season 1. This is the, the new Twilight Zone hosted by Jordan Peele, as you can see there. And I got to see the first 
episode, I think when it first premiered, because they, uh, I don't have CBS All Access, um, so they showed the first episode for free on YouTube, I believe, and I enjoyed it quite a bit, I thought it was really, really good, um, so I'd been, like, just wanting to watch this show, and I'm so glad that they re- they uh, released it on, on Blu-ray, because right when it came in, right when it hit the doorstep, I popped it in, and I just, like, binged it all, it was so good, I think within, like, the second day that I was uh, binging it, I, I I was done. And it was so, so good. I will say, though, this is very different than what your typical uh, Twilight Zone show is. Um, back in the day, the Twilight Zone was very much like maybe like creature oriented or like horror oriented. Um, this takes very familiar stories that... Um, Maybe you have seen if you've you watched the Twilight Zone before, um, and they flip them just a little bit. They tweak them just a little bit to make them very uh, very modern, more maybe like uh, racial and political. Which again sounds sounds bad. You know, it it sounds like oh come on, like they're doing that to the Twilight Zone. Hear me out. I felt the same exact way. And I was getting, a, by, by the time I was almost done with it, I was getting a little frustrated, right? The last episode is a very meta episode where they're filming the Twilight Zone. Um, and I'm, I'm going to give you kind of like a little bit of a rundown, or small anyway, uh, where, again, the show kind of blew my mind. Um, <laughs> they're filming the Twilight Zone. Jordan Peele is Jordan Peele. And he's like, you know, doing the hosting duties, whatever. And then he kind of comes out. He's like, well, this is a little weird. And da, 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 da. he's like, yeah, you know, people are saying we're getting a little too political. And I was like, they know what they're doing. Like, he knows he knows that this was going to be a thing. So address it kind of thing. So I, I can appreciate that when it was very meta to the point where it's like, okay, I know people are going to say this. But we're going we're gonna to do this and we're going to, you know, own up to it anyway. So I loved it, and this la- the last episode was a little bit more um, typical Twilight Zone, you know, like like you would expect. So, it, and after that last episode, I was like, I freaking love the show. <laughs> Actually, I was like, I love the show quite a bit. So I, I I do, and I can't wait for for season two. And there's a lot of great great uh, casting in here as well. It goes uh, what it's about, case. You don't know, and then the special features as well, and then the really cool thing that I haven't had a chance to uh, to uh, to experience just yet is that they have they also they have all the episodes, and then they have all the episodes in black and white. So I thought that was a really n- uh, nice touch as well. All right, and then we do have look a, an episode guide right here on the interior artwork. So we have disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, and disc. Five, right? Two, three, yeah. Four, five. And I can again, I can appreciate. Oh, one just flew out. Um, I can appreciate the the episode guide as well. I love that. Without having to guess and, and you know flip around through through the through each disc and things like that. So it's really cool. And again, th- there's there's a lot of uh, great great episodes in here. Um, if you can just understand that there is a purpose for the storytelling that they're doing in this in this show, I think you'll love it. Um, and I told my wife the same thing. I was like, I think you'll like it a lot if you just like go in knowing that it's a little like you know race relations and, and semi political and things like that. But uh, really, really good though, fantastic. All right, next up we have Swamp Thing, the complete series. All right. So I've been waiting for this one. Been waiting for this one quite a bit. Um, Swamp Thing is one of one of my favorite characters. Um, I love the old school Roger Corman movies, or movie, and uh, and the second one was great as well. Um, I don't think that one was done by Roger Corman, but um, Swamp Thing holds a special place in my heart. <laughs> I used to read Swamp Thing comics back in the day, um, and they always kind of looked at Swamp Thing as kind of campy because of those older movies. Um, so when they announced this show for the DC Universe, 
uh, app, I was like, oh man, this is going to be so good. But I don't have the DC Universe app. So again, I'm, I'm glad that they're releasing these on Blu-ray for, for everybody else to watch. Because um, hearing that this show was going to be more like horror oriented excited me. Um, I think executive producers James Wan from the Conjuring series and things like that. So I was like, oh man, this is going to be so perfect. Um, now, it did get canceled. <laughs> I think even before it, they finished the season uh, on the DC Universe app. And I think it was, it was having to do with budgetary reasons and things like that. But um, it's very unfortunate. Uh, it does say, com again, complete series on it. So I was like, all right, you know what? At least I go in knowing that this is it. I hope that they at least give it like an, an ending uh, that kind of closes every closes the gap, closes, closes everything uh, around. So that way we're not left just like, oh, because that's the story of my life. I hate I hate sometimes watching TV shows because I get so invested. And then next thing you know, oh, there's no season two. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, fantastic artwork here in the front. Here goes the back here. You guys want to know what it's about? You pause that. But this show is amazing. It really is. Um, I watched it and it lives up to the hype as far as like horror, you know, the horror genre. Um, it's very, very bloody, uh, very gory, very, very gory. And uh, just all around, very great. <laughs> and then here it does come with a digital copy. And again, it does come with an episode guide, which I love. And then here goes disc one and disc two of Swamp Thing. does come with some nice disc art there. And then here goes the front, back and spine for Swamp Thing, the complete series from... And this one is out now, I'm sorry, from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Now, to address the uh, the thing, <laughs> the thing, um, that I was hoping didn't happen, that I was like, man, I, I wanted to have a really good ending, if that's the case, if they canceled it, fine. Um, it ends on a note, I'm just, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it does end on a note where it leaves it wide open. And I was just like, Tah. Dang it, man. Because I wanted to see more. I do want to see more. But I kind of, I guess me mentally, if I felt like, okay, if it did just close it out, then I was like, okay, I'm not going to expect anything. But I guess maybe you never know. It may come back in another shape or form, one shape or another shape or form at some point. But um, yeah, it just, it didn't, it ended the way I didn't want it to end, unfortunately. Um, last but not least is um, The Lighthouse on blu-ray as you can see here and this one is out now from Lionsgate. uh this is an a24 title i know a lot of people love a24 movies and so do i um they're, they're one of my my favorite genre studios that th some of their stuff is just so off the wall um and then some of their stuff is very like horror some of their stuff is very artsy some of their some of their stuff is very horror artsy uh it's just like again it, at times they blend genres all together and I love it. And that's, I guess, kind of why I do love A24 as well. I do like them a lot. Um, this movie, however, I just, I watched it twice and beautifully shot, beautifully shot. Um, and the aspect ratio is shot in, uh, in four by three, which is basically like your standard, you know, uh, full screen, um, type of, uh, scenario. Which was, again, was like, okay, all right, this is an artistic choice. I, I got it. You know, I get it. Um, and the performances were amazing. Robert Pattinson and, and uh, Willem Dafoe, is, they, they were fantastic in this movie. The story, I just, I just could not get into it like I wanted to. Again, I gave it another shot. And I always tell you guys, if there's a movie that you don't really, like, feel, you're kind of, or, like, undecided about, Give it another shot. Give it another go. Give it another watch. Uh, just to make sure that you are not liking it for one reason or, or another. You know what I mean? If, if you don't like it because you don't like it, that's, you know, perfectly okay. Um, but I wanted to make sure that it wasn't because maybe I was tired that day. Or maybe I just, my concentration wasn't there or whatever. So I watched it again and I, sh I just could not get into it. Um, it. It was very weird. Yeah, I will say that it's an A24 movie. Of course, it's going to be weird. <laughs> and off the wall 
Um, but um, I do love the way it was shot. It was beautifully shot. All in black and white. Um, and again, the aspect ratio uh, was another thing. And it, it's interesting because nowadays, everybody's used to shooting wide. Um, to So in this moment, in this point, the actors themselves, I'm sure that it was maybe a little bit of a difficult process to make sure that they're in the shot at all times, you know, and everything's framed up correctly. So that, th those are the things that I was thinking about when I was watching it. <laughs> and maybe that's why I couldn't get into it. But, um, I mean, again, not all movies are going to hit with, with me um, the way I would want them to, the way that maybe they hit with somebody else. Um, but, I mean, and that's okay. Uh, again, beautifully shot movie, though. I, I will say that to the end of time. I, I love the way it was shot and done. Um, here goes the back here, in case you guys uh, don't know what it's about. And special features are there as well. So, um, and I, I want your opinion on this movie. If you've seen it, uh, down in the comments, just let me know. Like, what did you guys think of it? What what, what was your takeaway from it? Um, or did you not like it? You know, was there something that you did like but didn't, you know, as well? Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm very curious about about this one because i i've been hearing uh back and forth you know uh, uh with this movie about w about this movie with various people uh some say like, oh my god it is the best movie in the world and that kind of has me scratching my head like i i don't understand why um and then other people are saying well it's just really completely horrible you know i don't understand that either because it wasn't completely horrible you know and i don't even think it was really bad it was just I couldn't get into it, you know? Anyway, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you dug it or found it inform informative in any way, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I will be coming back with more videos as always. And if you guys want to purchase any of these titles, I will put the, uh, links down in the description below. You guys don't have to, but it does help out the channel if you do. Um, and with all that being said, we'll catch you next time.